On this video, we will review over how to perform stoichiometry problems, specifically mole mass problems. To solve a stoichiometry problem, the first thing a student must have is a balanced chemical equation. The second thing that must be given is the amount of moles of one chemical. Now we will talk about chemicals with regard to chemical A and chemical B. Chemical A is going to be the chemical that we are given information about and chemical B is the chemical we are trying to solve for. So when doing these problems make sure your equation is balanced and make sure you have identified chemical A the one you're given information about and chemical B what are you solving for. With re so the equation that will be used is we will have the given moles of chemical A. We will use our coefficients from our balanced equation. The coefficient for chemical A will be on bottom. Coefficient for chemical B will be on top. We will multiply that times the weight of chemical B from the periodic table over one mole of chemical B. This is a conversion factor. This allows moles of A to, to cancel out moles of B to cancel out, leaving us grams of chemical B. So on the next slides, let's look at some examples of these problems. On this problem, we have a balanced chemical equation. We are asked how many grams of H2O are produced if 2.2 moles of NH3 are combined with excess oxygen. Now note that the two chemicals mentioned in our problem right here are going to be H2O and NH3. Therefore, one of those chemicals will be chemical A and one will be chemical B. Because we have 2.2 moles of NH3, NH3 is chemical A. And we are asked to solve 4 grams of H2O. Therefore, H2O will be chemical B. We will plug our numbers into our equation from the previous slide. We have our given moles of chemical A <coughs> times our coefficient ratio. We have 4 moles of NH3 on bottom, and we get that because of the coefficient 4 in front of NH3 on our equation. We have 6 moles of H2O on top, and we have that because 6 is our coefficient. We multiply that times the weight of water from the periodic table. Two hydrogens each weighs one. One oxygen that weighs 16. Two plus 16 gives us 18 over one mole of water. We cancel out our units. We would have an answer of 59 grams of water. On this sample problem, we have our balanced equation. We have 0.3 moles of H2O. We are asked to find grams of O2. Therefore, H2O will be chemical A. O2 will be chemical B. We put our given moles of H2O times our coefficient ratio, the 5 moles of O2 on top, 6 moles of H2O on bottom, now on this equation, let's look at this right here. We are dealing with O2. Remember oxygen is diatomic. Therefore the weight of oxygen would be 32 because our formula is O2. Be aware of this and make sure with O2 you are writing down 32 and not 16. So we have 32 grams of O2 over one mole. Units cancel, answer 8 grams. So most of our mole mass problems are this straightforward. Identify chemical A, identify chemical B, plug your numbers into your equation, solve for it, and it's that simple.